Hey guys, it's another awesome day at work. Another day at work. There's Jules' truck still waiting for the rear end to be replaced. I just want to show you how dirty this rear front end of the truck was. As you can see, it's very filthy. And I have to scrub all those bugs off. A lot of bugs. Off of the number one Peterbilt. So, I'm going to get that all cleaned up, get all those dirty bugs off, and do a short video of it for the fun of it. Trust me, I washed these trucks before the whole thing, and they're a lot of work. They're pretty big, but I'm not intending to wash the whole truck today. I'm just going to wash the front end, probably the bugs off the mirrors, so let's get to it. Okay, I got my brush, my pail, and we'll come back for the soap. Soon to be clean. I gotta wash the windows too and the visor. That's hot water. We have hot water going to the outside of the house for washing the trucks. You guys need stone, that's the number to call. Ah! This is my brush. I need to set my phone down. Well, I'm not going to add a little soap to it, because there already is soap in it, as you can see from the old last washing, probably. Alright, now to get to it. Time to wash the bugs off. are on there kind of. There's a manual. I'll be driving these in a few years. Alright, let's get to it. Time to get scrubbing. See you in a bit. Okay. Back at it again. I had to go load quite a few people on the skidster, so over there. So now I'm back at it again. Front end's looking pretty clean and shiny, as you can see. Nice and clean. Alright, get the mirrors. Might as well get a little footage of me washing it. This is an everyday thing. At least for my grandpa. My dad doesn't wash his every day usually. So I usually end up having to wash it, me or my brother, but my grandpa keeps his clean as a whistle. He has the cleanest truck in the business, washes his every single day, all the bugs off of it. And now and then he gives it a full wash, and the boxes get dirty enough. Kind of see it's a little bit dirty. See where I wipe my finger right there? It's a little bit dirty. That's an aluminum box, so. Alright, I think we have a rag soon to wash the windows well that's to wipe them down got those new fancy LED lights right there those are nice just thought I'd show you guys what I was doing that's all washing the truck They look dirty, the exhaust are. Look at that, I wipe my hand right there, my finger. Filthy. Gotta get the pipes in the box too, probably. Let's see if I can, uh, 
set my phone. Just said I'm gonna go grab a rig. Okay, let's see if I can place my thing right there while I wash it. Gets more water. That's the thing about chrome is it shines when it's sunny out, but it's hard to keep clean. See if we can kind of angle it up a little bit so you can see it getting up there. Visor, visor up there. There, nice and clean. I'll tell you one thing, we have some of the cleanest, probably the cleanest trucks around. For sure. No doubt, I bet you we have the cleanest trucks around. Number one. That's the truck I'm washing right now. Here, the, sounds like the Jake on that truck. They're putting in a berm over there, so. A lot of dump trucks have been hauling over there recently. Well, I gotta get the other side of the windows. One second, folks. This truck really does need a full wash. As in, the whole thing needs to be washed. But I really don't have the ambition to do that right now. It takes a few hours to do that. <sighs> there. Nice and clean. There. Looking good. Nice and shiny. Look at the extension on that thing, that's how you can get the exhaust all the way up at the top, all the way up there. Okay, gotta wipe down this one too. Alright, I'm gonna pause it so I can do that, it's too hard otherwise. Okay. Oh, well, she's done for now. Maybe I'll do a quick time lapse thing video. Maybe fast forward of a washing this whole thing one day. I just got the bugs off of it today. You can see how much cleaner it is. Today, you can see more reflection. What's up, guys? It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Yeah, it's raining a little bit. Well, it looks good.
I think I'll just hit this right here quick. And I'll call it a day for that. The truck, not work, but the truck. There. Looks good. Those wheels are dirty, but... I'm not going to wash them because the roads have to wash all the wheels. Okay. Wash up my brush quick. Got some new work shoes. They're waterproof too, I guess. So they're nice. Nice for the work I'm doing. Still working on the Audi? That whisk, that uh, squeaking noise? Oh. Will it still make that noise then? The Audi has like literally never been this dirty. Look at how dusty it is. It's crazy. Stand back here and get a quick picture of that rig. Superman stickers. I gotta get those for my truck, some of those. There's the welder. You guys want to see? That's what I usually drive during the day. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Here we got that one ton going, that one ton going. Five yard are going. They're all running, but that one ton, we're sitting for a while, so we got it going. I just wanted to show you our most expensive stone we sell. $195 for a square yard of it. For a cubic yard. Not a square. This is our most expensive stone we sell. $195 for a cubic yard. Look at that. When, it's sun, when, the, sun, when the sun shines on it. It sparkles. That is a nice rock. It leaves that sparkles on you too. I probably have sparkles all over my pants, but that is a nice stone. Look at that. It's like magnetic, too. It's the one you... I forgot it. They, if you touch them to a magnet, they stick. Yeah. If you touch it to a magnet, they stick. That's the inch and a half, and use a three-quarter black diamond. It's a little bit purple looking right here because it has stone dust on it. When it washes off in the rain, it looks like that. Well, I just wanted to show you guys that. See, that's the real color of the stone. That's the stone dust. So when it rains and gets washed off, then it turns back to that color. It's probably the truck I'll be driving this summer. There's Jules' uh, spare motorcycles. For his other one, for spare parts. Look at all the wood we stacked. That was all that wood splitting we did. That needs to dry out for a couple of years. That's the stuff that is dried out. Took all that, on that paneling too in one of my videos. Show you some of that fence from all goats. I went in there. Well, there's the rig. This is where you fill it up, fuel tank. 
Oh, Dad, yep, he topped it off. See, that's so full you fill it. Diesel fuel. Do a little quick walk around this truck. It's a nice truck, that's for sure. There's the Suburban. I did a tune-up on that yesterday. You can go to Jules' channel to check out that video, my brother's channel. Tires are still pretty good on this thing. Right there's the wear marks when it gets down. We usually don't run them down that far though. There's the train horns. Those things are awesome sounding. I'm not going to honk them though in this video because they're so loud. Might shatter my phone. I'm kidding, but they might. So here's the truck inside of it. You got your RPM speedometer. Check out the miles on this baby. You guys can't even read that number off. I bet you there's so many. That is a lot of miles. That's how many miles my dad rode today. There's the CB. Talk to the other truckers. We put a Bluetooth radio on it with a mic. Right there's the mic for the Bluetooth radio. Yeah, it's a nice truck though. Here's your hard hat. Shop truckers, how's it going, boys? Tip my hat to you. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, fire extinguisher, gloves, change. Oh, all the hands. Looks like I gotta go load a guy. A nice new trail boss I gotta go load, it looks like. Alright, well, I'm gonna grab a piece of gum, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Alright. Really, come on. See ya.